Hey guys, my name is Anthony Fontana. I'm a CPA with EA Tax Resolutions, and today I'm gonna to be going over everything you need to know for the opt-out option of the 2021 Advanced Payment of the Child Tax Credit. All right, so why would you opt out of these payments? Great question, because it doesn't make sense that you would opt out of getting payments from the government. Well, it kind of does. I'd say the first reason why you'd wanna do this is because maybe you wanna use this as a savings account. Instead of getting these payments as monthly payments in 2021, you get them all as like a lump sum payment on your 2021 tax return in early 2022. That's the first reason. The second reason I'd say is the more important reason to do this is because potentially your income has increased from 2019 or 2020 to 2021. There is a phase out threshold of this credit depending upon your income. So if your income is over a certain amount, you potentially would have to pay back these amounts when we file your 2021 tax return. So the IRS says, if you look here, that if you make over 150, this this credit starts to get phased out for married filing joint taxpayers, 112.5 for head of household, or 75 if you're single. Then they have this shenanigans down here saying the first phase out reduces the child tax credit by $50 for each $1,000 by which your HI, your income, exceeds the income thresholds above. Like, okay, what does that mean? Great question, because I did the math here, okay? This lovely, scary spreadsheet kind of tells us when the credit completely phases out. So I would say if you meet the certain income, then you would opt out from the advanced payments of the child tax credit because again, if you were gonna get these as monthly payments, you're just gonna have to pay them back when we do the 2021 tax return in early 2022. So here are the amounts for the respective filing statuses and also again depending upon the age of your qualifying child that you have so if you have a five-year-old and you're married filing joint and you make 190 i'd say you opt out because again you're just gonna have to pay it back when you do your 2021 tax returns let's see here okay so once you do opt out of these payments you would not be able to re-enroll in getting these payments until late 2021. I guess the reason for that is you think you're gonna make a whole bunch of money and then turns out maybe in the meantime, or you opt out and then in the meantime, something kind of hits the fan and you don't make that kind of money and you wanna get back into getting these payments. You wouldn't be able to do that until late 2021. The deadline to unenroll is here. Uh, depending upon what monthly payment it is. So you can kind of check that out here. I'll include a link to this as well. Um, let's see here. If you're married filing joint, here's a weird one. You'll both have to opt out of the payment. If only one opts out and the other doesn't and we're married, then you're just gonna get half of the payment coming in. So anyways, a funky one there. And uh, how to unroll, that's I guess the question of the hour here. Well, we use this portal online here and I'll include a link to this, but you'd have to create an account if you don't already have one with id.me. Um, I'll include a link on some tutorials on how to get that done. Nonetheless, you log in here. It's pretty simple once you do have an account. I guess creating the account is kind of a pain because they are trying to avoid ID theft. So they make you upload a copy of your ID. They're gonna make you uh, video scan your face when you, it's kind of funky. But nonetheless, uh, once you get that done, it's real easy to do. You log in here and I'll show you my account here. Uh, they're gonna make us verify, yep, this is us. So what's the code I get? Let's see here. All right, we log in, here's the IRS, there I am. Okay, you just scroll all the way to the bottom, unenroll from payments. This is the opt out here. I understand, I wanna proceed. And they're gonna tell you right here, uh, I understand I can't enroll again. 
And that's really like at this time we can't re-enroll. So again, it's late September. The IRS is saying that we can re-enroll if you want, if you decide to change your mind. You'll click this button, hit submit, and there you go. You're unenrolled. Um, well, I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Uh, if it was, please share this video with whoever you think could benefit from this. Subscribe to our channel, like, comment on anything else you'd like for me to cover. Thank you so much.